Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on this math lesson. Parents, I want to welcome you. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and get started, okay? So what I want to share with you today is this multiplication chart, okay? And I want to show you how to use it. You're probably very familiar with it, but I just want to go ahead and go over it with you as well. Okay, so here you have some numbers at the top, 0 to 12, and then you've got some numbers at the bottom as well, 0 to 12. Here you've got a multiplication sign, and in here you've got all these numbers, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to just kind of follow along with me and I want to just show you how this works, okay? And what I used to do when I was a little kid is I used to make a multiplication chart on my own by myself and it was blank. And then what I would do is I would fill it in. And I would do it maybe, I don't know, once a week or sometimes every day. You know, um, um, like when I used to have some uh, free time and some spare time, I used to just do it. And I used to practice my multiplication facts a lot because I really wanted to memorize them. And I encourage you to memorize them as quickly as you can as well. And I know you can because you are an outstanding student and that's what outstanding students do. Okay? So, here you've got your multiplication sign. And let's say, for example, I want to do 0 times 0. So I look at the 0 here. And I look at the 0 here. That's 0 times 0. And then I look right there and the answer is 0. Okay? Let's take a look at, an, um, at another one. I want to do 1 times 1. So what I have to do is I have to look across this way. And then I have to go up to where the 1 is, and I see that the answer is 1. 1 times 1 equals 1. Okay, the 1 is there, and the 1 is there, and that's where it belongs. Then I want to just show you 2 times 3. The 3 is there, the 2 is there. I have to move over to the 2 and go where the 3 is at, and yep, that's where the 3 is at, so 2 times 3 is 6. Okay? Let's take a look at another one. I want to do 3 times 4. So I'm going to look at the 3. I'm going to look at the 4, which is right there. Then I want to go to where this 3 is and go all the way across until I see the 4. The 4 is right there. The 3 is right there. So 3 times 4 is 12. Awesome. Let's take a look at another one. Let's do 4 times 6. Okay, 4 times 6. So the 6 is there. I'm going to go back to the 4 and move all the way across to where the 6 is at, and the 6 is there, and it's right there. 6 times 4 equals 24. Let's take a look at this one. Here we have, let's do 5 times 7, okay? The 7's right there, the 5's there. I'm going to move all the way across to where the 7 is at, it's right there, the 5 is there, so 5 times 7 is 35. Awesome. Let's take a look at the next one. 6, whoopsie daisy. I'm going to look at 6 times 8. The 8's right there. The 6 is here. I'm going to go all the way across. And 6 times 8 equals 48. Okay? Next one, 6 times 9 let's do. So the 9 is there. The 6 is here. I'm going to go all the way across to where the 9 is at. Yep, that's where it is. That's where the 6 is. So 6 times 9 equals 54. Let's try another one. 7 times 10 let's do. Okay, the 10 is there, the 7 is there, I'm going to move all the way across. Yep, that's where it's at. So 7 times 10 equals 70. Let's try 8, whoopsie daisy, let's try 8 times 0. The 8 is there, the 0 is there, I just move across right there and 8 times 0 equals 0. Let's try 9 times 9. Okay, the 9 is there, the 9 is here, I'm going to move all the way across. The 9, yep, the 9 is right there, so 9 times 9 equals 81. Now let's try 10 times 5. The 5 is there, the 10 is here, let's move across. Is that where the 5 is? Yep, that's where it is, so 10 times 5 equals 50. The next one we have is, let's try 11 times 10. Okay, the 10 is there, the 11 is there, let's go all the way across to where the 10 is at. And 11 times 10 equals 110. And finally, let's try 12 times 7. Okay? The 12 is there. 
The 7 is there. Let's move all the way across to where the 7 is at. Yep, there it is. So 12 times 7 is 84, okay? And let me just show you something else, boys and girls. As you can see here, where, okay, when we're looking at the zeros, we're counting by zeros right there. Then the ones, we're counting by ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then the twos, we're counting by twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And then the threes, we're counting by threes. And then guess what? For the fours, we're counting by fours. For the fives, we're counting by fives, etc. That's going across. And the same thing is true going down. Okay, look at the zero here. We're counting by zeros. All of that is zero. Here, with the ones, we're counting by ones going down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And take a look here with the twos. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And guess what? Here we're counting by threes. Here going down, we're counting by fours, and etc. That's pretty neat, isn't it? I think that's pretty cool. I used to love doing this on my spare time. Boys and girls, I want to just congratulate you. You're doing an outstanding job. You're going to master these multiplication facts, and it's going to be a breeze for you. Remember, let's try to memorize these as quickly as we can. I do want to let you know that we definitely need to memorize these, okay? This is going to be so, so helpful for you. I promise you. Parents, I want to thank you again. And boys and girls, we'll see you very, very soon at our next math lesson. With that said, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.